everybody's cancer case is different. Everybody's a different, you know, you can be the same subtype, but, you know, have different symptoms. Cancer cells are so smart, um, unfortunately, um, that you try to basically give them something to decrease one of their activities, and then they just figure out to another route. They sense something is attacking them, and they're like, boom, completely changed. I'm still surviving. What always sticks in my mind and makes me so interested is that roughly 220,000 um, new women are newly diagnosed every year with breast cancer and of those roughly 40,000 women die every year and so that alone is enough to make anybody have a you know vested interest in taking part in, in something that could change those statistics. Breast cancer is so diverse it's so heterogeneous, that's why it's like divided in different uh, categories, like the subtypes. So one thing that you do in one type of breast cancer is completely different for another type of cancer. So I specifically work in a cell type that is within the breast cancer tumor, which are called the breast cancer stem cells. And it has shown to be the tumor initiating cell. So what I do is basically try to understand how these cells survive in a way that when they're treated with chemotherapy or radio radiation, um, they're not killed. What we do is that we use an inhibitor for that specific protein and what we see is that those cells die and then the tumor uh, basically gets shrink and shrink and shrink until it completely disappears. There's some treatments that are available right now but a lot of patients still uh, develop resistance to the treatment, so this will be another a new generation uh, medication to basically try to uh, kill the, the cancer cells and give a better treatment for those patients. I think that by doing the research that I do, I will probably in the future help thousands of people that are uh, suffering this disease, so I, I feel great doing this type of research. There's nothing worse than a patient initially responding successfully to um, therapies that are out there, but then along, you know, down the line, becoming resistant to it and no longer responding and not having an answer. What we're doing in our lab specifically is one of the first instances where RNA nanotechnology has been used to target um, a specific aspect of breast cancer's um, mechanisms, but it's something that's never never been done and it's it's pretty groundbreaking it's fun it's really awesome to be on that ground floor what we do is manipulate these single strands of RNA to target this med1 protein and disable it essentially by blocking its ability to interact with the estrogen receptor when we take out med1 or you know, disable its function, these breast cancer cells can no longer express the genes that they need to survive. You can essentially think of it as slipping a piece of paper between these proteins and disrupting their interaction. And once you disable that interaction, the cell can no longer survive. That's my favorite part about it, essentially, is being directly involved in something that can ultimately become uh, a, an effective treatment for patients. Go to clinical trials because sometimes you have been treated with something that doesn't work. So open up your mind and talk to your doctor and say like, I want to be included in this trial if I'm actually uh, a person that is be, to be considered to actually enter the clinical trial. Any data or information that comes out of clinical trials is helpful. Even if you're not partaking in clinical trials, um, donating your own samples. So if a breast cancer patient wanted to donate the tissue that was um, surgically removed, that would be extremely helpful. You have to keep in mind when you have a new medication, it has to go to clinical trials and usually takes like five years. So you know that your, your uh, timeline will go 10 or 15 years, but then after those 15 years, you will feel happy that something 
go to the clinic and it's basically improving the life of the people. Everybody knows it's really, really hard, but the gratification from it becoming successful would be you know, incalculable.